Hello, thanks for joining today's webinar. You can enlarge your screen for the optimal viewing experience using these buttons. You can also click the arrow here to view the hidden menu. The section at the very bottom will twirl out a menu that allows you to ask questions for the host to answer. Thanks for joining us, and we hope you enjoy this webinar. Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany and with me today is Christina and our audio visual guru, Caleb, and our customer support agent, Rayanne. Hi everyone. Super excited to have you as the special guest today. Yes, yeah, super excited to be here, thank you. All right, well, to start us off, as a reminder to everyone, as always, we are super excited to talk about taxes. We have years and years of experience, uh, but we are not tax advisors. So if you have specific questions, as always, reach out to um, your CPA or the IRS directly. So, Ryan, we have you here today as our customer support specialist. And I know you hear our clients talk a lot a lot, yeah. um, <laughs> but we want to know what specific things you have heard from clients relating to the BOI recently. Yes, I mean, overall, since it is the deadline is approaching for a lot of our clients, um, a lot of the questions that I get firstly goes around um, security as far as client sharing information. So one of the solutions that I provide for our clients is our utilization of Bandit Connect, which gives them the ability to communicate with their clients directly and they have the ability to upload secure documents such as IDs or passports needed to become a beneficial owner. Um, and they're able to securely upload that into our um, secure software. And then that kind of mitigates the need of just passing around pictures of IDs or passports and things that are kind of sensitive. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how easy that is to navigate for clients? Um, overall, it is very easy. Um, essentially, they would receive a link from the user. So they would invite them, send them an email, and they would be able to click a button and log in. They would get a code sent to their email just to verify that it is them entering our secure, um, our secure software. <laughs> and then from there, they're able to enter the information requested by the tax preparer, um, and they're able to upload the necessary documents as well as add in that information seamlessly. So overall, we do receive a lot of great reviews about it. The communication aspect is amazing for all of our users, especially those who are not the most tech savvy. Um, and it is great. We do get a lot of great reviews as far as the customization as well. So the other, another great aspect of that portal is not only can they share the ID and like the, the beneficial owner information, um, but we also have that option for them to communicate with their, their preparer. So once that preparer gives them access, if they need to ask a question or um, provide feedback or say, oh gosh, actually this isn't right, you know, whatever it may be. Um, I, I also love that they can like kind of trail, like adding on to the security measure, they can get all that information securely if they need to provide other details. Um, Tiffany, what are your thoughts on that? Well, in as with that, they can also upload documents that go with their BOI report if they, including the ID or any other documentation that they need to provide. It's like something new and you don't have the initial information yes. yet. It's just a good place to... Exactly. So not only can they do it through the Bandit Connect portal, they can do it through the messaging portal. So they have multiple places that are secure to be able to upload that documentation. Love it. Um, well, Rayanne, yes. what is the the next either most popular or like your, your next favorite thing that you you hear clients ask about that we get to help with? Um, a very um, something that's been coming up a lot more recently with our clients that they seem to enjoy is our new um, engagement letter feature. So they have the ability to have a contract essentially from our clients to their clients and it's completely customizable so it'll be from their business and that kind of gives our CPAs a peace of mind when filing because there are a lot of questions as far as insurance and are they able to file BOI reports on behalf of their clients so that engagement letter just gives them that sense of security and that ability to assist our clients further. Absolutely. That's a, it's a great new feature that we mm -hmm. actually just recently added to, to it's address scary. a lot of those yeah. liability questions. <laughs> yeah. Um, and if the, isn't that, isn't the letter customizable? Can't they like adjust that to what they need? They need it to say for their firm. Yes, it is completely customizable. It'll also ha have their logo, just like the bandit connect emails that come from their account. Um, they'll add that so that the client, their client knows that they can trust 
that their CPA or whoever it is that's filing for them. So it, you have that consistency that most of our clients are looking for. Yes, absolutely. And you mentioned um, like the Bandit Connect emails being branded, being customized. Mm -hmm. And so I do you also get questions about like the portal itself, um, like it having our logo versus their logo? Do you hear do you hear about that at all? We do get some questions and we're overall able to clarify that they do have the ability to customize it, whether it be the email that they choose to have on the letters as well as the contact person for the letters um, down to color customization of the portal as well as, you know, we also have the ability to have a favicon, which is that little picture in the URL yep. um, and their own logo, which is great. And it gives the clients... Um, the ability to kind of have a piece of them in the work and they don't have to use the tax banner's name in a sense. They're able to veer off and have their own business, their own portal in a sense, and be able to utilize our software to assist their clients. And that is something I have heard for a long time that clients really enjoy having um, to be able to have that, again, the consistency that they want to for their own business as well. Yeah. I mean, it just provides a more seamless experience mm -hmm. for their clients that ensures that they're actually, they're going to do the thing. You know, they're yeah, going to get absolutely. the email, they're going to respond, exactly. which is great. And it can, it removes any confusion yeah. that their clients are receiving because if they were to get an email from tax payments, they're like, who is this? Mm -hmm. They don't know who we are. They know their, their CPA, but and they don't need to, you know, that. they're the preparers utilizing our tool, but they don't, they don't need to know about all of the, the extra exactly. details. Yeah. Um, which makes it, you know, more, more cumbersome, which is really the opposite of, of what we're doing here. <laughs> um, but okay. So for, for the, I know the, like one of the big things we want to talk about was the bandit connect portal because it is so, so well utilized for the mm -hmm. BOI reporting. So we've kind of covered that, um, they can invite their clients to provide the IDs or any missing information. We've covered that they can, um, like communicate and, and share other details. It's brandable. They get the emails. Um, I something else that I know we we recently added um, is the like compliance reminders. So I'd yes. love to hear like what kind of what you hear from clients related to that, and and what about it helps solve those things. I think mostly for our higher volume clients who have you know hundreds of BOI reports being um, filed now. Since the BOIR doesn't have a set deadline after the initial one, it's very hard for a single CPA to keep up with everyone's updates, whether there's an address change or a beneficial owner change. So these compliance reminders mitigates that responsibility on them. They have the ability to have peace of mind that their clients are being updated constantly. So they have the ability to update the information as needed instead of having the risk of lack of compliance if something is not changed in the allotted time. So with our automatic reminder emails, they have the ability to set it to what they prefer as far as the um, the amount of reminders they receive within an allotted time period, which is also very good. Um, and that, again, gives them the ability to have all of the clients on the same page of, hey, are there any updates? It takes liability off of the preparer because they are setting the reminders. They're doing their part to make sure that their clients are up to speed with what needs to be done. When, and doing their part with little to little to no effort as far as, you know, the yeah, emails yeah. are already branded. You click a button and say, like you said, they can schedule it either. I believe it's monthly or quarterly. Is that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and so it just automatically sends out with all those brand changes. But they don't, like you said, they don't yeah. have to worry. And even if it's not hundreds, even if it's, you know, tens, that's still a lot of people <laughs> to lot. remind yeah. monthly and say, hey, have you, have you had any changes? We might need to do this when you have all the other preparer forms and tasks and everything. So it's a very cool feature. Mm -hmm. Um, also, before you move on, um, there is another feature in regards to reminders that I think benefit our clients extremely. I have had a client even um, speak to me recently about this, where even in the beginning of the whole process of BOI, it's like the initial BOIR, um, when we send an invite to a client via the Bandit Connect dashboard, they receive the initial email. But in addition to that, they also receive those updates like, hey, did you see that we sent you this invite? So it kind of gives them that little push to make sure that they don't lose the email initially. They're able to get those reminders and say, hey, this is something that still needs to be completed. The preparer needs this information to move forward. So I think that also gives a lot of peace of mind to our tax preparers who are able to have those reminders sent out, but them not have to worry about it themselves. We take care of that for them. Yeah, it's, it's that whole different set of reminders yeah. where it's just reminding them to complete the initial report before we ever even get to the compliance yes, reminders, right? Exactly. So that you're not having to, to kind of hound those those folks to finish that report. Yeah, we do it for them. And they're still they branded. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So like, why not just why not just set it up and let it, let it do its thing? Yeah, it's all about mm -hmm. peace of mind for our CPAs. 
Well, tax maintenance was made for CPAs. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So what is what is our next um, like big client topic that we hear about? Um, well, I think something that is also just very beneficial with tax bandits overall is the ability to have the address book, have everything saved within tax bandits. Definitely. So um, when once the BOI report, uh, re- BOI report is you know approved by FinCEN, they have the ability to download that transcript at any time and have that for their records, and it will stay in their tax bandits account. And let's say they need to file a correction or they need to file an updated report, they can take the information right from the address book. So it takes a lot of the small tasks of having to type in everything because that's saved for you once you create a report or once you mm-hmm. file anything. And it, I feel like it also helps make sure that they're consistent and accurate. Because, exactly. Because like, can you imagine filling out your first one and everything's right and then you go to do an updated one, but oh my gosh, this time you've like misspelled the business or mm-hmm. put the wrong EIN because you're having to manually type it every single time. Exactly. <laughs> or you can't remember what you put on the first one. Yes. Yeah. Like not knowing, did, did I, we moved, but we moved here and we did the report like within a week, did we put the right address? Did we put the right person? Did we forget Ben on the report? Like who, like, but who knows <laughs> if you don't ben. have that record. So um, it's, it's, it's really um, a no brainer just to have records of like mm-hmm. what you've, what you've literally submitted for your business. Exactly. Um, I, Oh, I, on that note of submitting for your business, I just also love that you can pull like the address book. If you've been doing tax forms with tax bandits, we'll let you pull those businesses into the BOI report. And the other way around, like if you do the BOI, if you start now and you do BOI reports and then those same clients need like 1099s or Mm -hmm. W2s, you can pull from the the clients that you've already added in that address book to do other things. So it's it's a great feature. It saves a lot of time as well. Mm -hmm. And again, having everything in one place so you don't have to go hither, thither and yon looking for (laughs) your information or your forms because you never know when you might need that information. And on that, on both of those same notes, I think that, I think you mentioned uh, maybe last week when we were, we were all catching up, but clients were asking, can they pull the beneficial owners from the address book? Like if they, can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, Yeah. So there are a lot of clients who have beneficial owners that have several different businesses that they are a beneficial owner on. So a question that I received recently is instead of having to have the ID, have the client upload their information and receive an invite every single time, is there a way for them to just upload that client for several businesses without having the continuous need to contact them. Yeah, that client doesn't need like seven invites to the portal. Exactly. So with that, they're able to put in the client information essentially automatically and mitigate the need of having that constant communication. They're able to get it done more efficiently and with the ability to, if they need more information, they can ask for it, but they have what they need to create several different BOI reports for that client. So they're able to like basically get the BOI, like the beneficial owner's details one time and just apply that same person to multiple reports, right? Yes, Using exactly. the address book. So that's, it's really convenient. It is. Yeah. That helps with, again, keeping it all in one place, alleviating some of the extra work that you have to do, saving time, saving all of the effort and if you have um, staff members, you can also help with some of this information. That's yes, true. Do you get any? Um, yeah, like do you get any questions about like from preparers that are asking about having their staff help with the BOI reporting process? Um, not as frequently, but there will be. I think as time goes on, where you know they will have the ability to invite staff members and assign them to particular businesses, and they would be able to use the information assigned to them to. Um, you know, submit the reports needed, and then they'd be able to get approved by the overall preparer. So yeah. everything's kind of maintained and managed through um, through the software, definitely. Gotcha. So what are some other questions that we receive from clients, maybe regarding some pricing? Um, yeah, I mean, overall, clients want to know, especially the high volume clients, they want to know how they can make their lives a little bit easier. And one of the main things that I tell them that I swear by are our volume based credits. So with that, they have the ability to purchase everything up front just based on the amount that they're estimating that they're going to need to file. So they don't have to worry about, A, entering a credit card every transaction. They have everything right there for them. And then they get to take advantage of our volume-based pricing where, you know, the more you buy, the more you save. Mm-hmm. So that is something that our clients do ask about frequently. And then we're able to further assist them um, as far as pricing, getting that process started. And then it overall makes the filing process a little bit more seamless. It does. You know, they don't have to pay every time they report. Exactly, exactly. Especially with staff um, members. Yeah. They don't oh, need, yes, because yeah. they can share the credits across the account. Exactly. So there's not a credit card just being floated around like Jim's credit card just going to everybody. You know, it's all just and, equal. Yeah, and it's only in the insecure in account. So exactly. 
And if they, I mean, if they really wanted the, like the higher discounted pricing, they could always purchase more than they, they like more than they need and exactly. just kind of use them as they, mm-hmm. as they have they more clients expire. than needed. Yeah. They never expire and you never know when you're going to need to file a new one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. And then, um, so if you're purchasing credits, like, can you tell us a little bit about, um, like the engagement letter, the band, like the branded bandit connect options, the compliance reminders, like, are they also like, can you just touch on if they're also able to add all of those things to the account in addition to buying those credits? Oh yeah. So they can purchase the credits. And then in addition, if they wanted to add those services, they have every ability to do so. Um, they can contact our support team, um, you know. 704-684-4751. And then one of our support team members can further assist them, have whatever invoice that may need to be sent out, and then it'll be automatically issued onto their account that they can then utilize and make their filing process a lot easier. It's also a good way to find out about different like volume-based packages mm-hmm. that we have. If yes. you do need everything, um, we've got some great options too, to get Absolutely. all of that Absolutely, and time. our support team will definitely be able to kind of walk them through that. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us today. That's all we have time for today. So if you haven't done it already, go make your Tax Bandits account at taxbandits.com. And if if you've already done that, you can just go in and set up your Bandit Connect. If you need help with that, contact our support at support at taxbandits.com. Have a great day. Bye.